In this video, I'm going to explain how you can control more than 10 items with the Excel data stream functionality in an Arduino. In the example, I'm going to be controlling 18 LEDs, eight of which are hooked up to digital pins, and 10 that are hooked up to analog pins, which means that we can actually control the brightness of those ones. If I wanted a gradient, I could do something like this. The video is going to assume that you already have some understanding of this Excel data stream function. If you don't know about that, then I would suggest that you check out the Over Engineered in Oz channel because in there I have a playlist called Excel Data Streamer and that has all of the videos that I've done about the Excel data streamer function, how to set it up, etc. And the two that are really relevant here would be the send data from Excel to Arduino and the how to control servos and LEDs using Excel data streamer videos. The Arduino code is basically very similar to the code I've used in other videos, except that we're setting up a bunch of pins for outputting for the, um, the various LEDs. And if I switch over to the serial monitor, you can see what it's doing. So basically what it does is it takes a comma separated list of values and then translates that to tell the Arduino what to do with the LEDs. So if I put, if I want everything to be off, I could set everything to zero and all the LEDs will go off. And then the first ones are the PWM pins with analog input. So one is very, very dim. And then if I wanted to be 255, that's the brightest it could be. And you can do things in the middle of that. So maybe we do 30 and then we do 10 and then we do one and you'll see that we get different brightnesses of the LEDs. And then the last few are just on or off. So the digital ones, if I put everything as one, you'll see that the ones on the digital pins will all come on bright, even though the analog pins are pretty dull when we're given a value of one. One special thing though that I have added to this code that wasn't in anything from the earlier iterations is this removed character here where we remove the quotation mark. And why we're doing this is because when Excel sends the data, it actually sends it sometimes with a quote character on the front, so it might look more like this. And that can mess up the conversion to a number, so we, we strip out that quote character so that we only get the one or whatever value we've passed without any quotes coming through. The remove char function is just here. At the Somewhere in the video I'll explain how you can get to the code so that you don't have to try to copy it off the screen as well. On the Excel side of things, if you were to use data streamer the normal way, what you'd be doing is you'd be putting your values into the, the data out sheet and you can control the LEDs because it will comma separate everything for you. But the issue is, what do you want to do if you want to go past the 10th the channel? How can you control more? And so the secret to that is to actually use a function called text join and, and comma separate the stuff yourself. So if I was to text join, um, let's text join with a comma and the values from some cells. So let's maybe we just have an example where we're going to comma separate these ones. Now, if I come in here and start filling it in, you see, you can see how it will comma separate them for you. And you can make that as long or as short as you want. And I've done that in another sheet over here. So if I just clear these out quickly and I hook this back up to my other sheet. I've already got my text join function here. And you can see it's joining up all the cells from across the table there. So that way I can get the whole lot to be passed through. So more than 10 channels worth. You're not just limited to LEDs. You could be doing servos or whatever you wanted. So before I wind up, I just wanted to thank um, Lottie9 for asking the question about how you could get more than 10 channels of data because that was the prompt for this video. And obviously, if you would like the code or you want the spreadsheet, what you can do is you can go over to GitHub and I'll put the link in the description of the video. Okay, see you later.